And shout out to Dante oh, Boxing Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. It's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! Hey. <laughs> If you know, you know, and if you follow my channel, then you knew about this six months before it took place. I've been telling y'all this. I've been telling y'all Lomachenko doesn't want the smoke with a Devin Haney for some reason. You would think he wants it because if he beats a green version of Devin Haney, that's the easiest version to beat. And if Devin Haney goes out to do great things in boxing, it will make Lomachenko look that much better. However, Lomachenko said, forget all that. I don't care about my legacy. I don't care about what people think about me. I mean, ESPN is already trying to erase my loss. So why will I fight a Devin Haney and get another loss where ESPN can't do nothing about it? So I don't know who's out here snitching, but Lomachenko done joined the witness program to avoid a Devin Haney at 135. He's the WBC franchise champion, and most likely Devin Haney will be the full-time champion, which is ridiculous because the franchise title is just a paper title. It's basically stating that you held the belt before, because if you beat a Lomachenko right now, you're not going to take that franchise title away from him. He will have it forever. So it's kind of like when Floyd Mayweather fought Conor McGregor and they gave him the WBC million dollar belt. It was the money belt. It was just like a trophy in a way. It's not a belt where you're going to be undisputed if you keep that belt. You're going to be undisputed with it or without it. But one thing for sure, in order to be undisputed, you have to hold the regular WBC title in order for you to be undisputed. However, Lomachenko, he claims he wants to be the undisputed champion at 135. That's his goal, is trying to accomplish what Terrence Crawford accomplished at 140. However, he's trying to accomplish that at 135. But what's the purpose of that if you already gave up the belt, just to avoid a Devin Haney? Like I said, in order for you to be undisputed, you have to have all four titles, including the regular WBC. And the WBC went against the grain when the WBA had the super title, they stated they will never have that. And now all of a sudden, when it comes to Canelo and Lomachenko, when they had tough mandatories like Charlo and Devin Haney, they granted them that title. So that right there should tell you everything about the winners program that's going on for Canelo and Lomachenko. I mean, you got Lomachenko avoiding a 41 year old Manny Pacquiao, the fighter he wanted to be like, he avoided that fight and turned that fight down. He also avoided the fighter that he claimed he wanted to have the dream fight with, a Floyd Money Mayweather. He avoided the green version of Floyd Money Mayweather prodigy and that's Devin Haney. So it sounds like Lomachenko is all cap. That's what it sounds like to me. And this is why it's all capped to me. And that's why I'll be telling y'all Lomachenko joined the witness program a long time ago. It's because the WBC, there's a rule. If you win a vacant belt, you have to fight two mandatories because you want a vacant belt. You didn't beat the champion. So Lomachenko was already a two-time world champion. Some way, somehow, he ended up fighting Lil Campbell for a vacant belt when he's already a whole champion and arguably pound for pound number one like they like to claim, right? So he beats a Lil Campbell, a guy that already lost to Linares and that was his second shot at a world title, a vacant belt, right? He fought Lomachenko. So Lomachenko beats him, but unlike all other fighters, he doesn't have to defend his title twice against the number one mandatories to keep that title. They granted him the franchise title right away without doing a damn thing. And they about to give Devin Haney the regular WBC title.
Just like Redick Bo back in the day when he threw the belt to the trash to avoid a Lennox Lewis. That's basically what Lomachenko did today. And that's why I be telling y'all the franchise belt is a paper belt. It's more like a money belt that Floyd Mayweather won against Conor McGregor. That being said, it just shows and exposes how Lomachenko joined this witness program. Because like I said, back in the day, even the WBA, in order for you to be a super champion for the WBA, WBO, whatever belt, you have to defend your title 10 times. And that's when you become a super champion where you don't have to defend your title no more because you earn the right of keeping the belt without having to defend it. And if you may ask why, it's because you already defended your title 10 times. So you earn the right of keeping the title and just getting the big money fights and the big legacy fights. That being said, Lomachenko did none of that. Matter of fact, he beat a guy that's not even a champion for that belt. Keep in mind, Lomachenko being granted these opportunities time and time again. He didn't earn his position to fight Salido the first time when it was his second pro bout and he's already fighting for a world title. To make matter worse, he lost that bout, and later on, now they're trying to erase it. However, they granted him another title shot right away for a vacant belt against Gary Russell. So it shows you, if you're on the hope list, what kind of benefit you get. And if you're on the coincidental list, what do you have to go through in order to get the same opportunities as these fighters do? That being said, I told y'all time and time again that Lomachenko joined the witness program a long time ago. And yeah, he calling out Tank Davis, but that's because everybody calling out Tank Davis. Even Tank Davis is calling out Lomachenko now. However, he's avoiding the Devin Haney's of the world, the Pacquiao of the world. And when you avoid a Pacquiao, it shows you what time it is. Everybody's gunning for a Manny Pacquiao fight. And for you to turn down that fight by claiming that Manny Pacquiao is too old and you don't want to make a name out of Manny Pacquiao when Manny made you look like a fool by beating a Keith Thurman at 147, a division you would never dare climb at and fight a Keith Thurman at that division. That being said, you claim that you don't want to fight Manny Pacquiao because he's too old, just like you claim you don't want to fight Salido the second time because he wanted more money and you passed that. You been past Salido. He not on your level. However, he beat you. A fighter not on your level and he been washed, managed to beat you and take you to the Mexican school and you don't want to revenge it, that loss in particular. However, that one loss, you lost in the amateurs. You wanted to fight that same dude like three to four times and you did. However, when it comes to Salido, you wanted no smoke and you didn't want to revisit the Mexican school of boxing. Man, we all know what time it is. Like I said, Lomachenko is nothing but a cap. There's a lot of cap in his game. So that being said, if you don't know what cap mean, that means he brags a lot. That he doesn't live up to what he says. And Lomachenko, well, it's one thing to be overhyped by the media. However, it's another when you could prove the media right. That is overhyping you. However, Lomachenko is choosing to do otherwise and go the other direction and the direction that Omiri want him to go is by avoiding all the tough fights and take the easy route and fight the Corollas of the world because keep in mind, he passed on a Mikey Garcia opportunity because of his injury. Then he passed on a Manny Pacquiao opportunity and every fight that you could think of that will elevate his legacy, he passed on that opportunity. Why? Because it had an element of danger and he doesn't want any element of dangers. That's why he content with fighting the Corollas of the world. When he have guys like Devin Haney and even Shakur Stevenson calling him out. Ain't nobody avoiding Lomachenko anymore because even the guy that people claim been avoiding him, a Tank Davis, moved up to 135 to become his mandatory. So we all know what time it is with Lomachenko. He's a wanted man. And for the Lomachenko fans that claim that, oh, they only calling him out after he looked bad against Lil Campbell. First of all, Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson and Lopez been calling him out way before that. Second of all, 
Y'all can't have it both ways. Y'all can't come at me saying I'm hating because Lomachenko destroyed Lil' Campbell and didn't struggle against him. And now, y'all know y'all want to switch the narrative and claim that people are calling him out after he looked bad against Lil' Campbell. Which one is it? And from the start, what I said, Lomachenko co-signed everything I said because he came out and stated that was his toughest match. Even though he must have forgot that should have been the Salido loss. However, yeah, I forgot they erased out of his record. So most likely he did forget, right? So like I always say, man, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to old media. Check out my new show, Split Decision, where y'all know we're going to dissect this topic in particular. So check out Split Decision episode five. I've been dropped it. And to be continue on the next episode of Aki TV, make sure y'all follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing meme. And check out my guy, Khaled Tuwaiti. He on the come up. I'm over here covering his fight and that documentary coming soon. So peace and we out of here.